Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to continue using our Awakened Kinsect set. As always if you want to skip to the gameplay it should be on screen now. Okay so we're augmenting our weapon here as you can see. I'm kind of hoping for any kind of build up boost or skills to replace the skills we have so we can fit in more skills themselves. Oh, a wind mantle, we may as well take that. That could be useful. A Camellios blessing, we're actually gonna take that for now because we can swap it with Spirit Bird's Coal. Oh, I think we're actually gonna take this. A level of Bubbly Dance lets us replace a two slot and Embolden will be nice. Sneak Attack's actually not too bad of an idea on this build. We might take this one as well. Nice, we also didn't have Burst, I will take that. And I think we're actually going to take this Wind Mantle because I can swap the other one now because it had... Oh, never mind, it didn't have anything. That's okay. Ooh, one level of Master's Touch. That'll let us get another level of Resuscitate or something. Okay, so this is what we ended up with the build. We got Wind Mantle, we got Burst, which is great. We didn't have Burst. We got a level of Sneak Attack, which might be good. I didn't test whether that works with the Kinsect or not, but it might. We got a level of Master's Touch to get some more damage in through other skills. And we got a Bubbly Dance as well. So we got two free skills out of this, basically. So let's change this Mastery into a... A Resuscitate. That's a good idea. And we'll change this Bubble into a Resuscitate as well. Just for some more damage. Because that's like 20 free raw just by having uh, Bubbly Dance active. Someone also mentioned swapping my dog into Diversion stuff. So the Fangs here will divert a monster when he latches on, and so will the Diversion Scroll. And in today's video, we're going to fight this level 200 Baryoth. As you can see, I got a multi-monster one, but I want a singular one. So let's go do this. I'm also going to be, be bringing Minoto today, because she does do the Stink Mink quite often, which will drag the monster away from us again. Oh, and in today's hunt, we're actually going to try a different playstyle that someone in the comments suggested, and I thought it might actually work pretty well. Since we've actually got a Kinsect that creates, um, like rainbow clouds for us, which essentially gives us all of our buffs at once, we should maybe try and stockpile some of them once we get our buffs, and then we can, like, launch, uh, quite often and just run into a cloud to get all our buffs back, because it was being rather inconsistent the other day. We also want to activate our Bubbly Dance just to get some more Evade Window. Nice, we got that. So yeah, we're just going to do some Tetris Seal combos here in a second to try and put some clouds down. Uh, I believe it takes like 16 hits, so it might take a little bit. I'm going to aim for like three clouds before we start uh, like spamming out our buff or our attack that is. Okay, so we got one there. That's one down. Oh, back up, back up. Gonna launch it now actually and grab this cloud while it's here. And we can just dive to it like this. There we go, get our buff back again, chuck another one at him, and we've got another cloud there as well. This is gonna work out quite well, possibly. Let's jump over there. Grab a buff again, do it again. Ah, he moved. That's okay, we'll just go away. So now we just regather for now. I'm surprised it spawned a second cloud there actually. That was interesting. Um, we've got a ton of evade window on here now, thanks to all the bubbly dance and whatnot that we had. Ah, give me the, the buff we need, which is his foot. Gimme. There we go. Excellent. We can start building our buffs again. So yeah, I want to try and get like three of them out at once. Is at least the ideal uh, amount, I think. Ah, oh, come on. I input the roll. That's okay. Lovely. The girls both heal us as well. I've missed them healing me, honestly. We got the healing horn just came out as well. Or the health horn. Oh, okay. Oh, that evade window coming in clutch. Yeah, we've got two levels of embolden now and the, uh, what's it called? Evade window itself as well. Struck one at him. Yeah, yeet. Nice, we just caught him. Let's grab this cloud. Chuck another one at him. Yeah, yeet. Oh, the cloud actually stays there. You can see it there. Ah, oh, let me grab it. That's okay, it didn't let me grab it. We'll grab it now. Go through him again. I'm glad we got Wind Mental now, actually, because we're able to use it quite a bit more. If we could have grabbed his face there, that would have been ideal, but that's okay. Uh, grab it now. Did the wrong combo, but that's okay. At least we should get the hit in. The Tetra Seal hit, that is. 
Also, this will just do more damage than how I was playing before anyway. Because we're actually hitting him actively. Instead of just doing aerial stuff. See, I got all my buffs back just by going through the cloud there. That's awesome. We can do it again. Very nice. Since he's, uh, like, staggered and having a bad time here, we can just kind of do that. Let's go back to the end of the ground. Just to build some more clouds like this instead. Excellent. Give me that. It's gonna move, so we just do a short hit. This tail doesn't have a hitbox S, luckily. So we are good. Roly poly. Back jump into the forward. Okay, he's doing that. We get the launch. Yeet. Excellent. We got the cloud again, like we jumped into it. That is ideal. Get to launch another one into the cloud as well. There's a cloud right there. Gimme. Excellent. Yeah, this is much better already. Goodness gracious, I was playing so wrong. Get our resuscitate back. Can chuck one at him while he's on the floor. Yeet. Oh my god, the stagger. Beautiful stuff. Get our red buff just so we can do damage during this down here. Excellent. Won't produce any clouds because we don't have a triple buff, but that's okay. Let's grab it there. Wow, that went so well. I thought it was fun before, but uh, that is ridiculous. We didn't even use too much sharpness either, which was my main concern with playing like this. I think I just need to make more clouds before I start using my uh, ability. Ooh, we get a cheeky Garangol mount. Very nice. Let's grab this and launch him straight into it. After trying to get some wall bangs, of course. With uh, the somewhat inconsistent targeting. Okay, we should be good here. Perfect. I'll let one of the girls grab that while we make some... Ah. I was going to let one of the girls grab it and then we can make some clouds while he's got it down here, but that's okay. Garangomp's quite a good mount if you can land the rock. Oh, there you go. See? This beautiful stuff. And he fell into it. Lovely. Lovely, lovely stuff. Go to the side so we position correctly. And just spam away. And then we go for the finisher, of course. Garangom, pretty good mount if you can land those rocks. This is uh, very good damage. Recall Kinsek to uh, be a little bit faster there. Try and make some clouds as well. Just so we can do the shenanigans we were doing in the previous zone. Very good, very good. Excellent stuff. Okay. Right. We need to activate our bubbly dance as well. Forgot about that. And we've got an intrepid heart as well, so we should be able to go through an attack while we generate clouds. Which is beautiful stuff. He's stink minked, so he's going to be focusing on someone else. Let's chuck our bug. I didn't see any clouds around, sadly, but that's okay. Oh, we actually got all our buffs back. That is how we should have been playing all last video, but I was terrible. Oh, lovely. Okay. Ow. Uh, we're going to try and grab our orange here. He's probably going to jump. Yep. Okay, okay. Get our bubbly dance, make sure we have it. Um, okay. Can I have my red? That would be lovely, mate. There? Yeah, gimme. Okay. We definitely want to... Oh, beautiful stuff. We definitely want to be making some clouds. We haven't been doing too well in that front. There's one. Just get away. Try and make another one. By whacking away at him. Follow him. Nice, we got a stagger. We'll try and make another cloud first, and then we'll start using the one that's there. There we go, lovely. Straight through him. Yeet. Oh, no, it missed. No, it didn't. Let's grab our cloud. Ow, that's rude. Get away. We got our uh, buff as well from Bubbly Dance. Oh, intrepid through it. That's okay. Oh my god, the damage. Can I go through my cloud, please? It's just under in there. Lovely, let's do it again. Yeet. Okay. Go back to him. Ah, oh, we didn't make it. That's fine, though. Get that one. Get that one. Lovely stuff. Just do a grander combo. Because we're in a pretty good position to do that. Get our bubbly dance back as well. For more raw damage. 
Okay, stay under him. Nice, we got the stance break. We should be able to make a cloud out of this, surely. Big damage too, because the build has a quite a decent amount of raw. As I said, it's not entirely built around the uh, Kinsek, but that is the idea behind it at least. Let's go through him. Straight into a cloud as well by the looks. Oh my god, he's red already. Or uh, blue already, that is. Ah, oh, we wasted a cloud, but that's okay. Unfortunate. Yeet. Bash him. Oh, nah, that's not far enough. At least we get the orange pretty easy. Let's jump over him. I don't know why I did that input, but that's okay. At least it worked out. We've got our buff back. We're staggering him. Chuck another one through him at my kill. Not quite. Grab the white. Grab the red. Grab the... Okay, I, I wanted the red there, but that's fine. Gimme. What? Gimme my red. There we go. He's being so rude there. Chuck another one. Yeek. Come on, man. You're going to be getting so close now. That was weird. Okay. Let's grab the white. Got to get to his orange. Oi! Gimme. There we go. He's putting up a fight of his life, of course. As they tend to do for me. I really want to get the kill with the Kinsack, honestly. Come on. It's got to be getting close. Yeah. That was so much better than it was last time. If I made more clouds, that would have gone so, so smoothly. I reckon like two to three is definitely where you want to be. At least three. But once again, such a stupidly fun build. I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it yet. Well, everybody, that was some more Awakened Kinsect Attack build. This build is so, so stupidly fun. I highly recommend it. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.